you know, it's the first uh, real test. Uh, you know, we got people in the stands. The coaches will be off the field, so we won't have that little cheat sheet for them. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to play a lot of young guys because we have some guys coming off of surgeries and right. injuries before, so we'll kind of need to get them in a little bit better shape and condition. Uh, we also have a few other guys we're going to hold out for just various reasons, just more doing with insurance and things right. like that. So anyway, uh, I'm excited to see us. We're going to kind of tone it down a little bit offense and defense so we don't try to trick each other. Right. And uh, and also I know it's the first scrimmage. you got two more after this. So that's you, right. You that's right. This one's going to be one just we put in some things and just kind of see who can do just some, uh, uh, you know, just do some special things that we think that we can use them and, and they're working their way up the depth chart. And because what you have to do this for too is also to see who's possibly going to travel. Right. You know, because we make our special team squads out of those guys too so you know I, I'm excited it won't last real long because again we're having to practice and of course the South Louisiana yeah. heat and then on the turf too at yeah. the same time so uh, we'll do we'll do well what about after eight practice where you'll say y'all are right now I would say we got a lot more competition for positions more guys have to come out ready to go uh, it's not like a given that they're going to be playing. Right. So that's a plus. We got a lot of new guys. So what we have to do with newcomers and transfers is, is try to get them to bleed the old red and gray, mm -hmm. you know, and become a team. Because right now, some of them, you know what I mean, we got to be ready to go as a team on September 1st. Right. Um, doing position breakdowns also, doing the offensive line. Just talk about what you see from the offensive line. It's really this position that battled a lot of injuries, have played a lot of young guys last year. Well, they're couple. working hard. Uh, we got uh, more quality than we've had in the past. That's one area I see us having competition for positions. We have a lot more size than we've had in the past, uh, you know, and, and athletic abilities. So we've got a lot of kids coming back with significant experience. A lot of them played before they were ready. Mm -hmm. But I'm seeing some. We got a few transfers in here that give us uh, some added uh, competition there. They've uh, got a pride in their group. They developed the little O train, mm -hmm. which you might ask them about when they come over. But the O okay. train is just trying to build some unity in that group. And, uh, you know, I, I can see them coming together very well. And, uh, again, for us to be better offensively this year, we're going to have to be definitely better on our offensive front. Okay. All right, Coach. I got eight practices on the Yelp Bells, and tomorrow you'll catch our first scrimmage. I'm excited to see where y'all at in the scrimmage today. Uh, we've been waiting on this since we started camp. We got a lot of competition. We need to see why we're young guys, and then we just bought in. So, coaches are looking forward to this, and we are looking forward to this as a team. What about the, um, what's some of the things you're hoping personally to accomplish in this, in this scrimmage? I know you've got a lot of practices and scrimmages, but what about for you personally? Personally, I want to get to this after you. Uh, Coach got me playing uh, four different positions, so he trusted me to uh, get in my playbook, so I need to study a lot and be in the best shape I've ever been. Okay, and a lot of that to get to that point is doing stuff like here practice and tomorrow's scrimmage. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, well, thanks a lot. All right, thank you. The more we can do that, the more we'll be prepared for September 1st. What about like eight practices hey, on the how do you How do you find you see LR right now after eight practices? We're working hard. We're getting better. Um, you know, I think we're we're getting to where we're not installing as much, so the execution's going up. Um, I think that's what we have to have, but you know, we're just going to get better and better every day. So. Okay. All right. Like, oh, you know, we're all getting better. The Louisiana heat's a great thing because it gets us in shape. They're all we're teaching each other some of the things uh, that we learned in spring, carrying over in the fall. We got a lot of new guys. We got a lot of new guys that are uh, learning a lot of different positions. Sure. And the older guys so. are really and taking them under their here. wing. Right. I know Andrews yeah, played a role last year. You had to, you were forced to play a lot of young guys. How much of a benefit can it be this year that those guys got to play last year? Uh, it's always great that those guys get experience. They develop. They got better. They got to compete, and the confidence they got from the successes they had while teaching them on tape uh -huh. is something we carried over from the spring until now. And they've really taken a leadership role. Okay. And finally, coach, talk about the O train. The O train. Uh, you know, it's something that we try to adopt. Uh, an ideal. We try to make sure we emulate uh, and being tough, physical, consistent. Uh -huh. It's a lot of things. Uh, it's really has to do with the group and only the group, but right. uh, we like to lead by example, and we're working on that. Okay. All right. Right now, as it should be, uh, guys are coming along different paces. Uh -huh. The guys that have been here through last last fall and spring are coming along a little faster, but we all just need to keep on getting better as a group. I know it was like battling injuries last year. A lot of guys, young guys, got playing time. Just talk about how rough it was last year battling through those injuries, but also how beneficial it could be for this season. All those guys got experience. Well, a lot of us did, uh, as true freshmen, get thrown in there, and we uh, got our feet wet, so to say. So 
we uh we have a little experience going into this year. Mm -hmm. Plus we got a few nice freshmen coming up that uh, just came in the recruiting class that are pretty good. So there's a lot of competition right now for a starting spot. So right. it'll help everybody get better. Okay, Coach Stop was telling about the O train. What's up the O train? The O train started with the uh, Coach Jabril. Mm -hmm. He was uh it was it was right before the Lamar game last year. Uh -huh. We were trying to find, you know, trying to find where, who we were. Right. And uh, the practice before the game, our uh, walkthrough, Coach Jabriel told us, old train on three, old train on me. Uh -huh. So we broke it down on old train, and we kinda st it kind of stuck with us. That game we rushed for almost 400, 300 yards. Right. So it, it was a real good good game for us. And uh, after that, we kind of found our identity as offensive lineman. Okay. Offensive line. All right. All right. Summer. The That's offensive fall. line, the O train, is really something. Since I've been here, we haven't had uh -huh. a bunch of guys that are really close together. I know today, kind of, we had some issues, but we're going to get them cleared up for tomorrow's scrimmage for sure. But this is the closest group of guys we've had on the offensive line, especially that first unit uh -huh. with Tyler Knowles, Rafe plays on Caleb Klein, me. Abasi's been with us for a couple weeks now. Bossy lived with me for a little bit, so we're all on the same page. Mm -hmm. The offensive line, I think we're ready to roll. What about you coming off that injury? How? How are you doing rehab-wise, and how ready are you for the season to get back on that field? Right, right. Well, the spring was a, a time of adjustment for me because I didn't get to do a lot of my my full rehab stuff as far right. as running offensive line stuff. Uh -huh. So I went full go in the spring. Our training job, our training staff really helped me out a lot. But as far as this fall goes, I mean, just getting those bearings rolling again, mm -hmm. just getting back on track with the group as a unit in the off season during the summer. I think I'm really I'm back on track. I know injuries played a role last year. You had to play right. a lot of those younger guys. It's How terrible. much is that going to be a benefit? I know it was tough last year, but right. it could be a benefit for this year. Right. Well, I, the way I look at it is I've been here. This is my fourth year now. And I had to say every year I've been here, it's kind of been that issue. Right. My freshman year, I ended up starting when we were still running the triple option. We had Brandon Ward hurt his ankle. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, so I got to learn from that, got used to playing time. Last year it happened. The year, I mean, it's been a recurring thing. But now we have the numbers and we have the guys that are willing to do the work. Right. We haven't really had those type of guys that are willing to buy in what Coach Stubbs is doing. Mm -hmm. And what Coach Jeb and what I'm trying to get. I mean, the offensive line needs to be together. And right now it has been. And right. these young guys that played last year, I mean, I don't think there's no better experience or right. a learning curve than being out there. Okay. And finally, the O-Train. The O-Train, baby. About That's it. it. Tell me about it. That's it. O-Train. Ain't nothing getting in the way of us, baby. We're the O-Train. We're together. Without us, if you want to get to the end zone, you got to catch the O-Train. Okay. All right, baby. All right, Gerald.